The Alger Hiss case took place in 1948, which involved a state official, Alger Hiss, who was accused of passing secrets that belonged to the U.S. to the Soviet Union, and these secrets involved the atomic bomb. He was a very persistent man. He kept claiming he was innocent until the day he died at the age of 92 on November 15, 1996. Alger Hiss was not only accused of leaking secrets to the Soviet Union, he was also accused of perjury, which meant he lied under oath in court. Even though he was convicted, he kept pleading innocence and was then accused of treason after evidence of documents which found that showed he had in fact been spying for the Soviet Union. Three years after Alger Hiss was accused of passing secrets to the Soviet Union, two more people were accused of passing secrets, a couple by the name of Julius and Ethel Rosenberg. Thus began the Rosenberg trial. The Rosenberg trial began on March 6, 1951, and involved Julius and Ethel Rosenberg. Both were accused and charged for passing atomic secrets to the Soviet Union. This trial took place in New York, where they were both found guilty and sentenced to death by the electric chair. They were both executed in 1953, but even though there were a lot of evidence against them, some believe that they were still innocent. They were the only American civilians to be put to death for spying during the Cold War. As evidence against Julius and Ethel Rosenberg, the court was able to obtain three witnesses. The first witness was a man named Max Eliger who had delivered a suspicious film can to Julius Rosenberg. The second witness was David Greenglass who provided the jury with evidence of suspicious behavior from the Rosenbergs, such as burning notes in a frying pan and meeting cars in dark streets. The third was Ruth Greenglass, David's wife, who testified as how she was asked by Julius to ask her husband if he was willing to provide information on the progress of the Manhattan Project. These trials scared the citizens of the United States and created the Red Scare across the country. People began to doubt the country's security since the Soviet Union now had nuclear weapons. It produced the fear that the Soviet Union would bomb the U.S. And this was the beginning of the Red Scare.